what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode so for today's video we do have a sling check out and so this one in particular is something i have been having my eye on for a minute now but i wanted to wait around for the price to drop just a little bit i think it was a better purchase at the price point i got it for i'm really interested and curious to see what we have on the inside because this one as you can probably tell if you haven't already you know seen other reviews about the sling bag or checked it out for yourself and purchased it. This one is pretty long and usually I prefer more of a boxier design. This one still has that boxier design but definitely in a rectangular shape than a square shape. We are checking out the Cadet Sling Bag. Now this one is the nine liter version. They do have a smaller version which is the Cadet Mini Sling Bag. That one however is a little too small for me for what I carry. So I do want the space and a larger sling bag for my current carry and the setup that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it and see what we have on the inside. But before we do that, I always like to go over the packaging and see what we get. So this one just has plastic bag covering and that's pretty much it. I purchased this one through Amazon. This is also my second sling bag that I'm checking out from them. I have purchased another one, which is the Nico 2.0. And I have used that sling bag a lot. That has been my main sling bag that I have been using for carrying my gear and just what I just typically carry for a little over a year now and which is why I do have a little bit of high hopes for this one so outside we just have the chrome logo right here and that's pretty much it flipping this one over Got a little silica gel. At the time of my purchase, it was available on Amazon for $67 before tax and that's USD. But the rest of the colors that are offered in this same sling bag are available at regular price. So that varies from, I believe, $90 to $100. Again, depending on which colorway you decide to check out. This one still has kind of like a stealth look. It has that black and red theme that you guys know that I just kind of made my overall carry setup. So it matches everything. Thing seamlessly so that was pretty neat we're going to go over the details of this sling bag and we're going to start from the outside here right in the middle we have a red chrome industries logo they do have the cadet sling bag and a way more stealth colorway which like is pretty much all black typically i would have preferred that because it doesn't typically pop out in your face so if you know that logo you just know it otherwise this could bring attention but not too much in my opinion so it has this material that is called tarp and the different colors vary in just the names that they use in this particular sling bag but for the most part it's just the cadet sling bag so not to get confused with a different colorway it's just a colorway that they put with the name but it's called tarp and this is my first time hearing of this material it seems to be water repellent so you have some weather resistance with this particular material which is always a good thing for me and pretty much required for my style of care because I do take pictures in harsh weather conditions. So I do like the fact that it will repel some water or debris and just overall bad weather. So we do have that feature here. We also have the expandable straps. So you are able to either compress the sling bag or expand it so you can fit everything you need to fit inside. At the bottom here, we have the adjustable straps for attaching a tripod or a jacket, you know, whichever you prefer to carry that can't fit on the inside or you prefer to have on the outside you should be able to slide it through here with these straps and i'm going to pack this up and demonstrate to you guys and show you what all i can put in here for what i typically carry and if you have some space for additional items then i'll show you that as well so that's pretty much it at the bottom we do have like this mesh material so a little bit more rugged and durable usually i do like that because when you're sitting your bag down you don't have to worry about it getting punctured or just just tearing up because some people sit their things down like on a hard floor like concrete that could potentially like wear down your bag over time so with the straps here i do like the fact that they do have a stripe on them so that adds a little bit more of style to it in my opinion you know it's still not distracting it has this gray stripe so it still kind of gives that stealth look but overall this is pretty much your standard buckles right here also so usually people can work well with those get a little tag right here get 
lifetime guarantee. So that is always a plus. So that way you can always have like an option to replace should it need replacing. And by the way, it does say register the product. So definitely want to do that. So you're eligible to use that lifetime warranty. And you also get a nice little sticker here. So that is nice. If you like stickers, you can add that to somewhere, whichever you like to slap your stickers on. And inside this little quick brochure, it does have cadet at the top. It's a messenger. It's a sling. It's a tool belt for battling whatever the CD throws at you. So you get your specs here underneath and you also get the features. So you can see exactly what each feature is. It has a lightweight buckle and a U-lock holder. Should have like that pass-through system. So if you need to attach it, I believe a U-lock, most people probably use that for keeping it secure on their bike, but you can also use it and pass through like the handles of your luggage and carry it that way. So we're gonna check out the front pocket and see what we have on the inside of that. All right, so you get a nice deep front pocket here. No other additional pockets on the inside. So you just get one long pocket. I would have preferred, you know, maybe two little pockets on the inside. So that way you don't have everything sliding through or sliding around in here, but it is there and you could put a ton of things in here. Again, we're gonna pack it up and see what all we can fit. I know it's gonna be good for all types of small little items that we can store here. So towards the back, it looks like a lot going on, but we should be able to get through it. You have your long strap where you would carry this across your body. And then you also have a sternum strap that's already attached to it. So that is nice that it is there. You need that extra security for carrying it around your body. It's really good. Just, I think an overall carry, but I know people do like that extra security if they're riding a bike or riding some type of, you know, little motor scooter or something like that. So that is nice. And I think at this size, it is definitely needed. This is also a pretty thick, thick strap right here. So I guess that would make sense for their style of using this seat buckle. We're gonna definitely check this out. But yeah, it's pretty large. Again, the strap seems pretty nice. Not quite the smoothest I've ever felt, but it shouldn't irritate my skin because I do have sensitive skin. I try to keep in mind, you know, the straps that come on sling bags or backpacks because during the summertime, when you're wearing tank tops and just, you know, thinner shirts, you wanna make sure you don't start to feel the strap of that sling bag. So that's something I like to look at. So let me detach the sternum strap here. As I just detached the sternum strap, you see you can hear that satisfying click of this buckle. A little hard, but not too difficult. You know how sometimes buckles can be a little too tough to unlatch. Yeah, this one is not that. So that is good news. And underneath the shoulder strap, you're gonna have this nice thick padding. This is where I like to make sure that it fits across that part of of where the bag will rest because sometimes their padding is not as long as it needs to be and it can just fit in a spot or end up landing in a spot where it's just become unuseful. So I'm glad to see that this is, you know, quite long and hopefully, you know, it is universal because everybody has different body types. All right, so we also have this Velcro strap right here. Time to check out Chrome Industries seat belt buckle here that they love to use and it is chrome, it's very shiny. Now, for me, I would have definitely preferred to have this in black. Right here, you can see this is their bottle opener that's featured with the buckle, which is always nice. And there we are. So you literally see it is a seatbelt buckle, which I think is different. I think that's cool. I love stuff that is different, something that everybody's not doing. I like to be different myself, so definitely did something different here. And they consider this to be their quick release method. It. I'm gonna definitely test this out and see how quick I can release this sling bag and how well this works. And even if it just starts to wear down over time. All right, and as you can see, we have that Chrome Industries logo again in red with the silver buckle. Actually, it's not as bad. I thought it was gonna stand out a lot, but it's really not that bad in my opinion. I thought I was gonna be like, that's probably gonna get on my nerves a little bit or it's probably gonna be too much attention for me, but it's really not that bad. Definitely got that nice, satisfying click. 
so you know it is snapped and ready to go. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and move to the inside. Now for the zippers here, they are really nice and easily slide across the bag, which I really like that. I hate fighting with zippers and hating fight with the bag. Nice smooth zipper. And you do have the zipper closure, nicely seals up in between. That way your bag has a little bit more extra protection. And I can say for sure like that has worked very well on my other sling bag from Chrome Industries. On the inside here, we have the same gray interior color. We don't have a whole lot of compartments, which we did have a little bit more but I know this is probably more designed for a variety of different carries and that's pretty much it you also get this little design here on the inside probably not anything particular but just attention to detail right here they added something else and it just added a little bit more style to the bag in my opinion so in here you get one long pocket so you're able to put little small accessories inside of this pocket right here which I definitely will do the bag just opens up pretty much free I do wish they had a, a few more pockets. We're going to see how I can pack everything and keep it nice and neat and protected. And also, oh, I've just noticed this one right here. You have two little slots on the inside. So you can probably put like some pins right here if you want to. So those pockets will probably suit those type of items better. No back pocket here. Again, it features that pass through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pack this sling bag up and we're going to see what all I can fit inside. So I am back and I tried to pack this sling bag up without overpacking it and it kind of looked overpacked. That's one of the things that I tend to dislike very strongly is when bags look overpacked. So I try to keep it nice and structured according to the dimensions of this bag. And for the most part, it looks pretty good. I think I was able to fit quite a bit in here. This is pretty much what I would carry if I could remove some things and insert something else, it would still work. One thing I'm gonna go ahead and point out before we get into what I have on the inside of it is the adjustable straps for expanding the bag. So the compression straps right here on the side of the bag were very useful. In the front pocket we have here, and again, this is just like quick demonstration. Again, it could vary in what you put in here because these pockets are just not really specifically designed for certain items. So we just have one long pocket, as I mentioned earlier, and I just threw in a variety of things in the front here. So I have my camera battery, here so pretty large size batteries if you wanted to you know throw these in the case you definitely can do so and throw them in the bag next I have a brand new SD card for my camera so I just dropped this in here in case you know you need something like this for an emergency and I always throw in a trusted case for SD card so if you have an SD card or micro SD card that you need to carry obviously this is thin enough to store inside a sling bag but if you don't want to carry something like this this important you can definitely put it on the inside but for the most part, these are small items to carry in the front pocket here. Next, I have some caps, and this is just a body cap for my camera and a rear cap for my lens, but I was able to fit these in this front pocket right here, and that's pretty much it. Now, depending on what you store on the inside, could potentially have a little effect on what you carry in the front pocket, and I say that because I noticed certain things could be a little bit more visible or what's in the front pocket, so that's just something to note in a little detail that I want wanted to mention. Also right here for the zipper, you do have a zipper cover. So that way you can slide the zipper inside and that also adds a little extra layer of security and protection. So that is the front pocket right here. We're going to go ahead and move towards the inside of the sling bag because again, we don't have a back pocket, so nothing to cover there. And one thing I will say for about this material, definitely watch out for the little crinkles. I have noticed that and I hope that doesn't wear down over time. This pretty much seems to be the same material that's on my Nico 2.0 sling bag. So that bag has yet to like crumble on me and hopefully this one does the same. Again, we just have a smooth opening, no stoppage here. So we just slide this open and as you can see right here, I have my Fuji ST4 with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens and this fits pretty nicely. Again, it's just no divider so I'm able to fit it accordingly how I would like to grab the camera. So I typically lay my camera on its side. That way I can put my hands around the grip and get ready to take the picture. But for the most part, I don't see any issues with here. I wish it was a little extra cushiony at the bottom of the sling bag. That way it can 
add another layer of protection. So if you lay your bag down or if you accidentally drop your bag, you don't have to worry about the things inside potentially being damaged. If Chrome Industries decide to make a V2 of this one, hopefully that's included. But other than that, that's gonna be the main thing over here. So the fact that the ST4 fits very well with the lens on and the lens of this size is very useful for me. So I definitely could pack the SS10 as well in here because that is a smaller camera body and I shouldn't have any issues there. And next I just have a dust blower. Next I have the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Now, as you can tell, this is a very compact lens. So dropping this in the sling bag is always nice. I have the Biltross 23 millimeter F1.4 lens. The fact that all three fit in here is a plus for me. So it should be good to go in there with all three lenses and the camera body. So I like the fact that everything fits in here pretty well. I don't have to stuff anything. How long the sling bag is definitely helps out a lot with that. All right, so we're gonna move to the back pocket here. And inside I have some Germex hand sanitizing wipes. Also have a microfiber cleaning cloth. And next I do have my AirPods Pro in here. I like the fact that I can put these in here. These won't have to be in my pocket. I can just drop them in my bag. All right, and we have an extra mask. And I also have my SD card slash micro SD card case. Very nice that I can store this here in the back pocket and it doesn't typically get in the way. And I have my Peak Design wrist strap here. Now lately, I just have been enjoying not, you know, having a wrist strap attached to my camera body. But again, it slides very nicely in this back pocket here. And I know I don't currently have my anchor links attached to my ST4. So I just dropped it in here for the video, but normally I do have my anchor links on so I can attach the wrist strap to it. And this is the last thing that I have inside this back pocket, which is this small compact Ulanzi tripod. And oh my gosh, it barely takes up any space and I don't necessarily have to carry a larger tripod at the bottom of the sling bag, which again, you can do that. And if I need to do that, I definitely will. And again, we got the black and red theme going. But other than that, some nice, small, compact you can drop in here and you are good to go. And I also could have put in like a little cable and I can put that either in the front pocket or inside this back pocket. And in these two small pockets right here, I have two pins. So I was able to obviously fit two pins there. I'm sure you could put a like a little small slender flashlight there. So, you know, if you have a flashlight that you carry, then you can definitely drop that in. Again, something like fairly slim, probably about the size of these two pins and you should be good to go there. And in the second pocket, I have a little knife. So this is something I carry from time to time. I do have a smaller one that's even like this, like this small right here. So if I wanted to slide that one in, I can do that. But this one, the size that it is, it fits very well in that pocket and it is the perfect size for this little pocket here. And another thing to keep in mind, if you decide to put a pin inside that pocket, make sure you use one with a cap and not a retractable pin. That way you don't worry about damaging the inside of your bag. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. All I have in the inside. Again, I could fit a few more things in here, but for the most part, I wanted to keep it kind of light and keep it, you know, within the structure of the bag. The compression straps also expand a little bit more so you're able to uncompress the bag even more and also when you adjust the straps at the bottom that opens up the bottom of the bag even more so a lot can definitely fit in here again it's very flexible for a variety of different carries i just want to make sure i do note that for anybody that just carries all different types of things like i do so all right you guys that's pretty much going to wrap up this video hopefully you found it very helpful and you guys already know the drill hopefully you consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and if you know someone who's interested in this particular colorway the slain bag and just what all it comes with and the features of it hopefully you share that with them and guys let me know what you carry you know um, i'm always interested to see what bags you're currently using i do appreciate you guys also recommending other slain bags from different brands constantly having something different in my collection definitely helps and you know just seeing what's out there but with all that being said i hope to see you guys in my next video because I got a lot to do and I have some testing to do with this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that and catch you in the next one. Peace.